Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install SQL Developer and connect it to your autonomous database on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So the assumption is that you already have a database on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. I'm on the site now. If uh, you don't have one, look at the previous video how to create your account and create the autonomous database. So we're going to connect to the database that I've already created. If you're in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, click on the hamburger menu, scroll down to your autonomous database, and you notice I already have two. We're going to connect to this Azure DB database, and we're going to use SQL Developer. So what you need to do is you need to download SQL Developer for Mac, and we're using a Mac OS Catalina uh, version. Okay, so what you need to do is go to OTN, Oracle Technology Network .oracle .com. When you go to the site, on the downloads, you'll see SQL Developer. Click on SQL Developer. Then scroll down to the Mac OS. And we'll click on the download here. I've already logged into the site, so it's letting me download the software right away. If you get prompted for username and password, enter your credentials or create an account if you don't have one. So I'm going to download this. Also, I'm going to scroll down for the installation notes. Notice that we have the Mac OS installation notes here. And in order to install SQL Developer, you need to have the Java Development Kit. So let's go ahead and download that first and we'll install it before we install SQL Developer. So I'll click on the link here. And let's scroll down for the Mac OS. I'll take take a, the Java Development Kit 8. I'll double click or just click on that. And we'll download that as well. And let's see the status of my downloads. Okay, so we have, I already downloaded previously, but we're downloading it again. SQL Developer is downloaded, and the JDK is downloaded as well. Oops, get that out of this. I'll just minimize it for now. Let's go to our downloads. And we'll double click on the JDK to install that first. Click on that. We will continue. Install. Enter your credentials for your operating system. Okay, the JDK is installed. We can keep it. Now that the JDK is installed, uh, you can see that SQL Developer already ex uh, extracted uh, when it was downloaded. The Mac OS already unzipped it and made an application. I'm going to move that application instead of being in the downloads folder. I'm going to move it to the user's um, the user's uh, home directory. So I'll go to the Macintosh users, and this user is a CBA loaner machine. I'm just going to put the uh, application inside that folder. You could keep it on downloads, you could put it wherever you want. Oops, it's there. I move it there. I'm gonna double click on it. And you notice that uh, you get a message from Mac OS telling you that it could potentially be malicious software. So we need to let uh, Mac OS Catalina know that we want to run this software. So the way you do that is you go to your system preferences so top left and system preferences. Then we'll go to our security and privacy. And we need to unlock this so we can uh, allow these applications to be installed. So we'll put in your credentials. And notice that this is unlocked now, and it said that SQL Developer was blocked. And we're going to, let me say OK there. We'll say uh, Open Anyways. 
and now it says it can't be opened, but we'll go ahead and tell it we want to open it anyhow. And if you look in the background there, SQL Developer is opening. All right, the next step is to make a connection to our autonomous database on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. For that, we're going to navigate back to our uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure account. Let me maximize that. Recall this is a database. I'll just kind of bring us back a little bit. If you go back to the hamburger menu, autonomous database and warehousing, click on your database that you want to connect to. And then we'll click on DB connection. And we want to download this wallet. So we'll take the instance wallet. We'll say download wallet. Give it a password for a wallet. Uh, some applications will require you to enter that password for the wallet as well as connecting to the database. A uh, SQL developer will not. Let's click download. Is downloading so I will bring this away from the uh, full screen and shrink it a little bit and uh, let me uh, minimize SQL developer as well what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wallet and I'm going to put it in the same folder uh, for you could put it somewhere else for better organization maybe you have an Oracle folder for all Oracle related type items uh, but I'll just drag it in here for now you can organize things the way you would like to later. Let's bring SQL Developer back up now and make our connection. So I'm going to click on the plus for a new connection. I'm going to title it Azure DB OCI, basically for the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The username is admin and the password are the passwords that you entered when you um, created the admin account, when you created the database. I will say save password so I don't have to type it over and over again. The key here is on the connection type. Make sure on the connection type you choose cloud wallet. Okay, connection type has to be cloud wallet. And then you need to navigate to that wallet. That's the wallet I just downloaded and moved to the user's directory. So I'm going to browse. And, and here is the wallet. And we'll replace it. Make sure you go back and locate that. We'll say open. And notice that you have different service connections here, high, low, and medium. Basically, the difference between is, is that um, the low is focusing on concurrent connections. So you have lots and lots of possible concurrent connections, but the performance on each SQL command is not as well, whereas high, the primary resources are to each SQL command, and it's a little bit worse for concurrent connections. So we'll choose that. Let's test the connection. I have a success, so that's great. I'm going to save this. I'm going to connect. And let's open this connection. And look at tables. And if you recall, we connected our autonomous database. I created a test table called Table 1 with two attributes, Field 1 and Field 2. So here they are. So basically now you have SQL Developer connected to your autonomous database on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure.